Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Um, it's been quite a minute. Say hello to Joe. Say hello to Joe. My dog is going to be making a cameo. Um, but it's been a while since I filmed a video, which is not surprising actually. Um, I just got out of junior year. Uh, now I'm a senior. When did that happen? When the frick did that happen? But realistically, I genuinely have no idea. I suddenly, I woke up. Suddenly, you're 17 years old and you're a senior in high school. Whoa. Hey, let's calm down. Um, but I can't do that. So, <sighs> but aside from all the scary stuff, <laughs> oh, senior year does mean back to school shopping. And so I got back to school's clothes. Obviously, I did get supplies, but I didn't get as much. So I didn't think it was as important to like show. Um, it was literally just a five- <laughs> um subject notebook so that i can have all my notes in one place a bunch of mechanical pencils and i also got like pilot g2 pens and like 0.5 so i had gel pens to write with um but that's literally all i got regarding supplies so now we're just gonna get into the clothes because y'all could not care less about the supplies <laughs> um but the first thing uh first place we went to was macy's um and so i got this top it's an off the shoulder like black top with like lace it's super cute, super simple. It pretty much goes with any like jeans or any bottoms that I would want to wear. So that's why I got that. And then I got this top, which it, it's so like, I feel like it's so dumb. It's just a black tank top with like this little triangular rip type thing. This is whatever, which is like low key edgy. And I was like, I kind of need to get that. Cause it was, I just thought it was cute. I thought it was funny. Um, Cause that's like so me coded. So I got that. And then I got another tank top that's literally just black and lacy. Um, there's already dog hair on it because Joby, you saw him in the intro, he likes to be everywhere. All that also does mean even when I'm not in the house, he likes to be everywhere. So we got a little Joby, Joby coated <sighs> lacy tank top, which I also think is cute. Um, I got it. I, I got tank tops and like shorts and stuff because I know that throughout the first couple months of the school year it's hot like it is super hot for zero reason it's because we just got out of summer but it's like super hot so i wanted to be comfortable and not like sweating literally every second of the day because <laughs> i hate that um i always remember towards the beginning of the school year and the end of the school year since it's super hot since i'm in texas um i would wear jeans and then i would get home or get on the bus and i'd be like <sighs> And I would feel like my jeans sticking to my legs. And I was like, that's disgusting. Because it's super freaking hot. Especially like in the buildings. I don't know what it is. But like sometimes the buildings have air conditioning malfunctions. Uncomfortable. I would much rather be wearing like shorter like shirt. Or not shorter shirts. Shorter shorts. And like, I don't know, just less fabric on my body. So that I can breathe. Um, and not sweat my butt off. But side tangent over. Then we got a skirt. Um, one of the biggest things that I did consider when I was shopping was that I did have a lot of bottoms. I do have a lot of jeans. Some of them don't fit anymore. Um, but I did have a lot of jeans, probably like five or six pairs that I would circulate um, throughout like a month. But I did want to get a couple more, especially shorts and skirts, because a lot of the shorts and skirts that I have were more for summer, less for school, because, like, obviously dress code is a thing, and if they were too short, you could get dress coded. Um, so I would, I never did get dress coded when I wore those shorts, but I feel a lot better wearing shorts that I know are, you know, like, dress code proof. So I got a skirt that I believe is dress code proof. It's super cute, and, and, it has shorts. Amazing amazing addition to the collection um it's just it's literally just a simple black skirt which is what i've been wanting for like a really long time i had tried to thrift one and i do have one um but it's more like a of a cargo skirt and i'm still gonna wear it this year like i'm not gonna get rid of it but i did want another one that was more simple that i could just wear with pretty much anything because i feel that that one that i did get had to be styled kind of specifically um but that's it from macy's and then i went to hot topic because you know me I need to walk into a Hot Topic every time I go into the mall. It's literally required. Um, so I just got three band t-shirts and then one <laughs> one goofy t-shirt. Um, but I got this. It's a Nirvana shirt. Ask me to name five songs. I can do it. Don't even play. It's just the regular one with like the yellow text on black background. Um, 
I do have one of these and I've worn it a couple times, but it's cut, it's cropped and it like the, the arms are cut off because I did thrift it. Um, so I didn't, I, I wore it to school like maybe twice, but I got this one so that I could just like wear a regular t-shirt, you know what I mean? And then I got this Pierce the Veil shirt. I was like, it's really cute. It's, it's so simple, especially because it has a star on it and we all know like, I have to have stars on me at all times so we have that it has like the little blue star so i really i was like okay i'll get that <laughs> and then the last like artist t-shirt that i got was actually billy eilish it says do you know how to bend which is from her song called lunch that just came out on her album um hit me hard and soft i think that's what it's called and one of the biggest things I had an issue with, like, in the past couple years when I um, was kind of dressing, I was trying to fit into the alternative, like, subcultures, which is ironic because, like, you don't have to fit in and, like, abide by the rules in subcultures, like, because the whole point is that the subcultures don't really have rules fashion-wise. Like, it's just, like, political standpoint and um, music taste, you know what I mean? But my biggest thing is, like, I was so scared to wear band or artist merch that was anything except for punk, goth, metal whatever um because i do listen to other artists i listen to taylor swift and billy eilish and Bibi doobie but i was like i can't show people that because they're gonna think i'm a poser but then the more i thought about it i was like it literally does not matter it doesn't because nobody cares you know what i mean um so i kind of stopped identifying under the alternative like label just because i felt like obviously i know you can be alternative and listen to other music and dress in other ways but i was like i don't know i feel like it's a lot of pressure to have to go through just to be like guys i just i like to wear i like to wear band t-shirts and stuff because i'm not doing all that bro i'm just trying to wear clothes that i think is cute so that was oh one more shirt one more shirt from hot topic it was also a buy one get one 30 percent off so I bought two and then got two 30% off plus a discount code that I got on my Hot Topic. So, cause I had, I had an account, <laughs> but yeah, mm -hmm. I did that. <sighs> What's I supposed to do? This is my little pony. It's, it's a rainbow dash shirt. I don't know if y'all have seen it or even seen this quote in particular. Cause even if you've seen my little pony, it's not guaranteed that you know the quote, but it's where she's like talking to Rarity, I'm pretty sure. And she's like, um, it needs to be about 20% cooler. And so I saw the shirt and I was like, yeah, I need that. <laughs> I need that. I'm excited to wear it low key. Cause I've noticed like, especially with Gen Z fashion, like wearing kind of kids, like icons, not even just Hello Kitty. Cause I know Hello Kitty is a big one, but wearing like kid shirts is kind of a thing. Um, and that's not why I'm doing it. Like, I love Rainbow Dash, period. But I was like, oh, I kind of want to, like, get in on that. That's cute. So, yeah, that's where we're going with that. Next, we have H&M. And I only got two things from there, um, which, surprisingly, they were not that expensive. Every time I go to H&M, I see the price tag. I'm like, oh, my God. But these, like, I think these were 20 bucks, And then the jeans that I got were 20 bucks, And I was like, really? Really? I don't know. I, I thought H&M was a lot more expensive than that, but I got jorts and I really liked these because a lot of the like denim jorts that they have for women, specifically at the thrift store, because that's typically where I get my clothes, um, they are tight and I don't like tight jorts like that. If they're going to be denim shorts and they're tighter, I want them to be shorter. But if it's like around my entire thigh, almost close to my knee, I feel like it looks a little awkward. Um, so I was really excited to see that they had like the... The, the, the kind of trendy like baggy jorts but they fit perfectly at the waist because one of my biggest grievances with buying men's jorts even though i do like the baggy fit the waist is super like big um because in order to get that super baggy fit at the bottom you need the super baggy fit at the top and i'm just not like i'm not i'm not a big dude <laughs> i'm not a dude <laughs> so this is really nice they fit the way i want them to they fit perfectly so really glad that i got those and then I got a pair of jeans, which are, oh, I got a pair of jeans. Um, they're literally just like gray flare jeans. I thought they were really cute. They also fit perfectly and they're low rise, which is exactly what I wanted. I've been getting into like low rise a lot recently because I was really into high waisted, like for 90% of my like fashion life i was wearing high-waisted mom jeans or high-waisted baggy jeans or i was like pulling them like all the way up to my stomach um and that came from like 
not only like the trend of mom jeans and stuff but it also came with a lot of insecurity because it's like eh, i want to show my tummy which i don't really show my tummy when i wear clothes anyways but then i started like realizing like how comfy and how like nice low-rise jeans are i love them like i love them on anyone any body type can wear low-rise jeans and i just think they're super cute um so i've been trying to get more low-rise like bottoms type things you know what i mean so i got these and i really like them they were comfortable and everything so those are the jeans that i got and then finally we did go to ross now i didn't just get school clothes at ross i got athletic wear because i've been working out a lot more recently just for health and everything um and i have also been going to like the gym that's near my house that's connected to like the ymca so i decided to like ask my mom like can i get athletic shorts because i i've been wearing shorts that like i used to wear to bed and which is fine because like they're not like bed shorts anyways they're pretty much gym shorts that i had thrifted actually um but i was kind of like i i want like yoga pant material shorts because that's more like it's just better and i don't have to worry about continuously like circulating between am i gonna wear these to sleep or am i gonna go to the gym in them it was a whole thing i didn't have enough shorts is what i'm saying so now i have these and then i got another pair of black ones but there's really no point in showing them because they're literally the same as these ones so now we have those and i'm really happy about it <sighs> but let's get on with the back to school part so i got two bottoms and a couple of tops i got these shorts again i needed appropriate length shorts um appropriate length shorts because <laughs> of like dress code and stuff but i thought these were really cute okay that's what they're called the bermuda shorts i love these so much because that's what the ones from h&m are called um oh these are high rise though help <laughs> i'm probably just not gonna wear them like super high up i'm gonna like kind of put them down so they are a little bit more low-waisted but these are really cute i love the color i have a pair of jeans that i think is the same brand um that's the same color and like type of denim as this and i was like that's adorable i need that um so i did get these so that i have more shorts to wear when it gets hot and when it stays hot because literally texas is always freaking steamy as hell but other than that we got another pair of like oh this is i don't know why i said another pair this, these are this is a skirt this is a skirt i'm literally having a brain fart moment um i thought it was cute it's like a cargo skirt and i was like i can definitely style this with like i don't know like kind of an edgy little outfit you know what i mean so that's really exciting i thought it was super cute hopefully it's the length that i need it to be i think it will be though um because i did that thing where you hold it to your body and it's like oh that, that'll that'll do it next we got a tube top i'm not gonna lie i don't know what possessed me to get this i've literally never had tube tops i've never worn one out but i really want to start wearing them because they're just they're cute like i think they're so cute there's like there's not even anything to like why they're cute they're just freaking cute and even if i can't wear this to school i do want to wear it to like maybe a football game or something because i plan on going to more football games since it's my senior year and everything um so i was just like yeah why not so that's really cutesy and then we got a shirt that says support live music funny story actually i gotten a shirt that says exactly this before like it's literally the same shirt and i tried to cut it off the shoulder but i botched it so freaking bad like i tried it on and it literally fell to my knees like it it just because i had cut i had made the cut too big so i'm not gonna do that again we're probably just gonna stretch it out a little bit see where that goes um but yeah it says support live music i do love the shirt that i already had because i ended up cutting off the text and putting it on a tank top um so i can still use it but now i have one that's a regular shirt so that's that's awesome i love that and finally i got a kind of fishnet deal so that i can wear them under i can wear it under whatever clothes i wear i did used to have a fishnet shirt it was i got it from the thrift store and it was actually like spirit halloween brand which is so random but i was like oh my god i'm so lucky i got this and it literally did not fit me but i continued to wear it for the longest time i had like sunburn on my arms or like a little bit of a tan that was literally fishnet patterned because of that shirt um but now i have one that's like my size and i can actually wear it so that's that's really good actually um but that's from ross and then i went to pink the girls who get it get it the girls who don't don't um i needed new bras okay but that was that and finally 
I went to Rack Room Shoes. They had a deal where it's like buy one, get one 50% off. And I was struggling, okay, because I have Converse, right? Um, I have high top Converse. My mom got me custom Converse for my birthday. My parents had gotten them for me. And then I thrifted low rise, low rise? Like low ankle Converse. Um, but the ones that I had that were high tops, not the ones that my parents got me, but the ones that I just had um, that my uncle had gotten me, they like fell apart like the the sole the plastic sole on the bottom came off of the fabric and so i just decided to, to completely nerf them and i put like spikes on them and like i wrote on them and sewed words on the side it says riot girl on both sides and i thought they were super cute but i also wanted like regular converse you know what i mean just like the standard like classic black and white converse but i was like I already have like three pairs that are already considered that so why don't I just branch out and get something new so I got Adidas and I'm sure you can already guess I don't okay because I looked up Adidas Sambas and I was like they don't have the same like tongue piece as these do so I don't know if these are even they look like it I I probably sound really dumb right now, but I got Adidas and they're like the same color as Sambas. I don't, please let me know. Am I right? Are these Sambas or am I just dumb? Um, but I got these. I think they're so freaking cute. They're really comfy and I feel like I can do a lot with these. Like, you know, those outfits where it's like jorts and then the Sambas and some like little t-shirt. Love, love so much. Um, so I got them, which is actually great because literally my shoes, my shoe wardrobe is it's a hundred percent no okay that's a lie it's 50 percent combat boots 30 percent converse and 20 percent heels which is there's nothing wrong with that i mean i'm not upset about it but there's no variety there's no flavor there's no difference and so i decided to get these in there i literally i'm in love with them like so much they're so cute but that brings us to the end of the back to school haul um wow senior year <laughs> okay um i did have a couple of other videos that i was considering doing if y'all want me to do like an advice video or like an expectation versus reality high school video type thing i can do that that's something i think i would want to do because it sounds fun like to just talk about my high school experience but um i don't know like what age range my viewership is i don't know if y'all are my age or a little bit younger but if y'all are a little bit younger i would definitely make a video like that's on tips about high school and like how to go about stuff and whatnot um because i do think that's really important but i don't know just let me know what y'all want to see hopefully i can get to a decently um a consistent upload schedule i'm hoping to be able to upload at least once a month whether that's a cover or a sit down and talking video no promises because senior year does get super busy but i do want to make more content because like i really missed making videos on the youtube channel and spending time with y'all so whatever but if you want to see any more on my dumb face you can go ahead and follow me on instagram it's at joriel isabella um i'm probably gonna i'm gonna put it in text right here or like show a screenshot Come on, Editing J, you got this. And then I'll have a link in the description, probably. Um, but other than that, I've got nothing else for y'all. Um, hopefully, I see you in the next one, which hopefully will be soon. But be sure to stay safe, uh, drink some water, and tell someone you love them. Bye!